17, let's read that again. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all by our son of my sake outside. Give it thanks to you, how all by our son of my sake outside. Right, so all that we say and do is going to be in the name of the anointed Savior. Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, we give thanks to the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob for everything. Because he was to be praised for everything. Khan? Khan. Yes. Let's look up, uh, let's look at Proverbs 30 in the fourth chapter. Well, the fourth, fourth verse. Proverbs 30 and 4. Because as I've been showing, you know, pretty much what we've been going through and dealing with Egypt, coming out of Egypt to now, to reflect on ourselves now, it's about Amashiach Galvashai. Because he's the one that's coming back to judge and make war. He's, he's the one that's coming back with the power of the Most High to set up a righteous kingdom on this earth. Too much wickedness has been on this earth and we're tired of it, kind huh? I know I'm tired. I'm crying against it. You know, all the abomination that's being done. Yeah. Look, I'm going to read Proverbs 29 and 16. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases. But the righteous shall see their fall. Hello, yeah? That's right. That's what we got to work to be the righteous, to see their fall. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And that's what we're looking at. When we receive the authority of the kingdom that's going to come to us as the Israelites, we're going to be rejoicing. How long? Forever and ever and ever. You see? That's what's promised to us. That's, that's worth working toward regardless of how anybody else feels. At least for me. You know? Nobody going to take you off your path unless you allow yourself to let them take you off your path. It's on you. We as individuals going to meet the judgment seat of Amashiach Yavashai as individuals. Then you be an individualist. <laughs> but now we're Israelites. You know, we don't want to be all isolated by ourselves. We want to come together, as he said, gather together as we are now, tonight. You know, regardless of how anybody else is doing whatever they're doing or however they think. We got to come together. He said, gather together, old nation not desire. Because it's going to come a time, we're going to gather, and it's going to come that time that the destruction and everything that's going to happen is going to be happening. And you're going to say, they're going to know, oh, that's, that's, those, are, those are the ones over there. And when they come to deal with those that are the chosen, that Amashiach Gavashai have chosen, that's when he's going to come back and destroy them. He's going to stop them in their tracks. I mean, you know, I mean, this is, when Peter was in the prison, the angel came in there and the shackles just fell off his wrist. The doors just opened. You know, right now, anything could happen that you don't see with your naked eyes. But things can happen that you say, wow, is that because they have that power? If he made all the atoms, he can't dissolve all the atoms. This is nothing. Like I say, this is nothing to the most high. And when he brings forth his power amongst his angels... It's nothing for them to do whatever they're going to do here. This is, this, I can't even make it as small as it is to them. You know what I mean? To him. Anytime you say, the earth is my footstool, that's why we, just what we're working for, to rejoice. He said, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule like they bear and rule now, the people mourn. That's why there's a lot of people that's mourning. That's sad about this condition. That's crying against all the abominations that's being done on the earth. The children. What, what do y'all have to look forward to the future, in the future? What do you really have to look forward to? The way this world is now. That's why you got to really work hard. Everybody got to work hard. We got to work extra hard in this world. Because the world is against us. He asked the question. Proverbs 30 and 4. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven? Or who descended? Yeah, say, who have ascended up into heaven? Or descended? Read. Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? 
fist, the wind in his fist. Go ahead. Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Bound the ocean, <laughs> the sea, in a garment. Gee, are y'all with me? This earth, this whole earth is three fourths water. What did it say? What, he, what can he do? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Who have bound the waters in a garment? <laughs> Go ahead. Who have established all the ends of the earth? Who have established all the ends of the earth? That's where we are now, y'all. We're in the ends of the earth. Who have established this? Read. What is his name? What is his name? What is his name? Read. And what is his son's name? And what is his son's name? Read. If thou canst tell. If thou can tell. What is his name and what is his son's name? And all you, uh, the, uh, the ones that don't believe in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, answer that question. Oh, I know they're going to say, oh, Israel is his son. Israel is his firstborn. What is his son's name? If thou can tell. Verse 5. Every word of the Mosai is pure. Every word of the Mosai is pure. Be. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. So this shield is protection. But if we put our trust in him. And to trust him, you got to believe in him and you have to fear him. Because the fear of the Most High, as you learn the commandments, then you'll know, okay, I can't do that because that's wrong. Just like you know what to do right and wrong in Esau's kingdom. You go out there and do something wrong, he's going to put you in jail. He's going to ticket you. He's going to find you. If you do some cri a criminal act, he's going to search you out and put your butt in prison. Or give you the electric chair or the lethal injection or whatever. He had that power. That's why nobody's doing what they would do against him. But yet still everybody could do whatever they want to do against the most high. And the Mashiach guy was shot. Think they're going to get away with it? I don't think so. The world is not set up that way. Not his world. He's just why he, he ain't worried about this world. But if we, if we put our trust in the most high, have faith in him, he's going to be like a shield. That's protection. That's the protection that we need in these last days. Ends of the earth. That's what we had in the ends of the earth. The very ends of the earth. Get our uh, Ephesians 6. That's why we need protection. And the only way we're going to have protection is it's got to come from the most high. The people are faked. In 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 a illusion, rolling with Satan, and not knowing there's a judgment to pay. Start at verse ten. Ephesians chapter six, verse ten. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Most High, while my scout side. That's trust in Him. He just said trust in Him. So He said. We got to be strong by Hashem HaMashiach, Yahweh in the name of the Lord and Savior. Because that's the only way we're going to get to the Most High so that He can give us the power that He has that we can become the sons of the Most High. That's the Mashiach, Yahweh is, right? And in the power of His might. And in the power, see that? The power, the spiritual power of His might. Not our own might, but His might. He going to give you that strength, that power, that spiritual power. We need it. Where we at in the ends of the earth? Read. Put on the whole armor of the Most High. Put on the whole armor of the Most High. If you trust in him, he's going to be what to us? A shield. So we trust in him. He said, we got to put, we trust in him. You put on that whole shield, that armor of the Most High, that protection that he has surrounding us. Like, he, like when, when Satan said, hey, he said, he asked him, have you considered my servant Job? He told him what? Oh, no, you protecting him. But put forth thine hand and I'll make him curse you to your face. He asked for permission. 
He asked the Mosai to put forth his left hand. Not his right hand, but his left hand. Mosai got a right hand and a left hand. He asked for permission because he works on the left side of the Most High. And he's working stronger and stronger and stronger because he knows he got a short time. To the Most High going to eradicate all wickedness and evil off the earth. For everybody to be righteous, they got to go. That's why I said the people mourning. You're not going to rejoice as long as the wicked is in, in, in control. I just told you that. That's why we, got, we need this protection in the ends of the earth. Read. That he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. See, we got to stand against the wiles of the devil. Why? Get Revelations 12 and 17. That's why we got to stand against the wiles of the devil. Straight up, I mean, we'll read verse uh, 12 first. 12? Yeah. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. See, the devil has come down upon us, having great wrath. Why? Because he knew it. That he has but a short time. So you know he have a short time. So that's why he's coming down with all this wrath. You see all the things that's happening to us, you know, especially the youth, the younger people, and some older people that don't make the headlines of the news. You see what I'm saying? He know he got a short time, so he's coming down with much wrath against us. Verse 17. And the dragon was wrought with the woman. So the dragon is the devil. Is Satan, is the beast, is the serpent, and it represents Esau because they all what color? Red. <laughs> yep. A clear indication of who it's talking about. The dragon was rough, rough with the woman. The woman is Israel. When you read Jeremiah 6 and 2, read that Jeremiah 6 and 2. That's why by the time you get to Revelation, you have to really know what it's talking about through. The precepts is very important. Because see, there's a problem with the right hand and the left hand. Would you say? There's a problem with Amashiach Yahushai and there's a problem with Satan. There's a problem with Amashiach Yahushai and his angels. There's a problem with Satan and his Imps or demons. It's a big problem. He just said he know he got a short time. That's why he comes out with much wrath. Who you gonna wrath? Who wrath gonna come out? You gonna come out wrath on the angels <laughs> on the right side? I don't think so. You gonna come out wrath on us if he can. That's why we gotta be able to have the protection of the Most High against the wiles of the devil. When in the ends of the earth, and that's what we at now. The end times of the earth. Read. Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 2 I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Right. The daughter of Zion the children of Israel to a comely and delicate woman. It's symbolic. Doesn't mean necessarily that, you know we are a woman because we men. The most high is a man of war. So we men, but this is symbolic. So by the time you get to Revelations you can understand what it's talking about. Go ahead, Revelation 12 and 17. And the dragon was brought with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. See, the remnant of her seed is the one third of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's the remnant. So they're going to go, they're going to try and make war with us, against us, we that know. And it's, it's I mean, you can, you can think you can leave if you want to. Once you've been exposed to this truth, you're locked. You're locked, sealed. It's it. You already know. Ain't no way you can run. You already know who you are. Because you got a little spirits around here. Reporting all the time, wherever you at. All the time. They always reporting to the most high. 
This, this is happening, this is happening. Remember, the most I got his right hand, his left hand, and he reported to the ones that's here. That's why it says, the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. See, it's one thing for sure. Remember that one, one lesson I went over? It was nothing but death, 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 killing Israel. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, killing us, killing us, killing us. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What do you think they're doing now? It's just going to escalate, y'all. That's why we have to be afraid of the Most High. You got to fear him. That's the only way that he had pity on us. When we cried to him, what's it going to take? We see all the things that's happening to our people. I just got a call that said uh, a brother in South Carolina, the cops killed him in South Carolina this weekend. I didn't even hear about that. What is it going to take to rouse us up? To say, who's going to rouse us up? Who's going to rouse Judah up? You know, when you see it's happening, it's going to just happen more and more and more. That's why we need to protect. You've got to have that shield of the most. You've got to trust in him. That's the only hope that we have. We're not going to do this thing by no gun. We ain't picking up no guns to fight no the, the, the dragon, <laughs> the devil, Satan, Esau. It's not going to be done like that. It's a spiritual battle. That's what we're reading about. And that's what you got to understand. What we're preparing for in going to these scriptures and studying to show ourselves approval to the Most High. V? Verse 17. The dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of the Most High. No, you know, they keep the commandments of the Most High. You know, that's not talking about the Baptist church, <laughs> Jehovah's Witness, Holiness. Catholic Church, Seventh day Adventist. Because we got 613 commandments. We've got moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, ceremonial laws that we are obligated to follow to the best of our ability. They're not doing that. They just finished celebrating Easter. They didn't celebrate the Passover or like we in Feast of Eleven Bread now. They're not celebrating this holy day. The last day of the feast, are they celebrating this? Are they in tune in with this? No. So it's talking to a certain specific people, whether you want to accept it or not. And if you don't want to accept it, it's too late now. <laughs> it's too late. Because you done walked into the congregation of those that's teaching the truth. So you are obligated. You're going to have to deal with this. Ain't no way you can run. You can't run from the most high. He already, this, is his, this is what he says is going to happen. He could have said, hey, all you got to do is just keep on following me. And don't worry about the devil because you're going to be all right. No. Nah. He said, a righteous scarcely is going to be saved. And say, dare not make thyself one of the number. We can't even make ourselves one of the number. You know what's scary when I look at all, man, I'll tell us, I said, I'm probably tired of me saying it, but to know all the brothers and sisters that I've come across in all these years, and they're not even thinking about this truth. You know, not even involved at all. And they were powerful. So it don't matter about where you at now. It's about enduring until the end. Where we at now, okay. People want to elevate themselves, they want to. When you look at all these men and women that were strong, you like a man, you see it, you be like, wow. People ask, calling me, asking me about them still today. It's like, wow. You know, it's sad when you think about it. It's like, man, that could happen to anyone. And now I remember them saying, are you just in here to bring somebody in and then poop the most I get you out of here? And that's what happened. So you ain't made it till you made it. Till you made it out of the wilderness to see this rejoicing that we, that we just read about. That's when you know you made it. You know what I mean? We need to purge out the rebels in the wilderness and then we end up in wherever he's going to have us in the kingdom. That's when we know we made it. What's the, what's the point of I'm not I'm shy coming back to judge if everybody already knows that? I'm, I'm, that's, like, that's not like the people in the church. I'm saved. I'm saved. I know I'm going to heaven. 
go to funerals, they be talking about, oh, good homecoming, they going that. How they know where they went? Yeah. This is the last week my friend was talking to me. He said, yeah, you know, we're going to be taken up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the like. But what about when he come down? <laughs> Do you think about that? Because it tell you, we're going to rain on the earth. See what I mean? It's like, like I said. He's saying that, but he's going to purge out the rebels in the wilderness. He's going to use people as examples beyond the one-third so he can get them there. And you in line, and you see people being put to death. You see people going on this side, people going on that side, and when they go on that side, it's a judgment. It's, that's what judgment is about. But people don't think about that because they're too busy in their own world. This is the Esau, Edomite's world. They Edomite's. Got you all tied up in this world, and all you're thinking about is, the next, whatever you got to deal with to feel good or whatever you want to deal with to make it in this world. That's how he got you. We ain't nothing but commerce, y'all. We nothing but commerce. We spend a trillion dollars a year. Don't have nothing to show for it. What we got to show for it? Nothing. Nothing. You know? Just, we nothing but commerce. We the first Wall Street commodity. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the stock market came in with us. And it's still operating off of you. Whatever it is that you, you see on your birth certificate is called the informant. That's your mama. Your mama was the informant. That's on your birth certificate. You let the government know they have a new slave, a new commodity in the corporation of America. Look at your birth certificate. It says informant under the bottom. And they got your mama's name right above it. This world is it's not what it is that you what you think it is. Read that again. Right, let's go. Let's continue. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keeps the commandments of the Most High and have the testimony of Hamashiach Yahweh. Right. So that's who he's coming after, and that's us. We, the Hebrew Israelites, we ain't never been under number one. <laughs> We always number one. You know why? Because Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And that's what we're working toward. Go back to Ephesians. Verse 12. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. See, we ain't wrestle against flesh and blood. That's a person. People, read. But against principalities. Here there's principalities, read. Against powers, against the rules of of the darkness and of this excuse me, against the rules of the darkness of this world. See, we we wrestling against the darkness, principalities, you know, the rulers that are ruling in darkness of this world. But see, if you don't understand what this is talking about. From what was already said to the rulers that's ruling this, this world, the superpower world, then it might you might not understand that this is what we're working against. We up against every day. That's why you gotta know and you gotta know how to maneuver in this wicked world in righteousness. Because you don't have to be wicked just because everybody else is wicked. You know what I mean? They doing whatever they doing. We gonna stand up like bright lights shining bright against the wickedness. You know. So if you shining bright against all the other people that's not doing what's right, feel good. Feel good because the angels in heaven are, are rejoicing. They rejoicing. You don't have to feel bad. I don't feel bad about doing the truth, and I'm by myself and doing it and nobody else around, whatever, I'm, I feel great. When I feel bad, I do this, and I feel good. I feel great. Because there's power in this word. He said every word of the Most High is pure. It's power, to, it's spiritual. But if you don't look at it as spiritual, you're not going to receive the spiritual power that he has endowed us with as his chosen people. Nobody is more spiritual than us. Who? Name it. What nation? You name it. Nobody. Even if we don't know the truth, we still more spiritual than everybody else. 
That's why the most I say he can grab, he can grab them back in. Those that broke off, dealing with whatever they're dealing with out there, he said he can grab them back in until they own olive tree. That's why it's about discipline. It's about no matter what, you still do this. Let nobody take you off your path. And Mashiach Abishai said, he's the path, he's the way. So when you stop dealing with knowing how to reach the most high, then you're dealing with who? Satan. That's right. You, you have no other choice but to deal with who? <laughs> Satan. That's why you got to know how to stand against the wiles of the devil. That's what this is about. I mean, it, and they don't teach you this because it's like, oh, I mean, they teach you all funny games and everything is so, you know, everything ain't beautiful. Not with principalities in high places. No. Not in principalities in high places. They ain't playing. These are demons in high places. You can play if you want to. They ain't playing. Remember, we ain't wrestling with flesh and blood. We wrestle with things that we can't see. And they operate in people. Because we people are very easy to, 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 to be able to be, uh, for the spirits to go into. Possess. Possess, yeah, possess. Right. You see what I'm saying? When you, when, that's why when they be touching them people, they be falling out. You know, them some weak people. And you look at a, a lot of people, you look at, oh, they planted it now. A lot of people are weak. They believe in the weakness, the darkness of this world. That's why they can touch them when they fall out. Ah. And some don't. I know they never touched me. I, I, I done tried it a few times. They never would touch me. I mean, I went all the way over to make sure they, they try, you know, hey, see what, 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 is you, what you rolling with. <laughs> they wouldn't touch me. But it is what it is. I mean, but those are weak spirits. Because I'm going to challenge that. Because I know the power of the most high is in this word. And if you don't know it, you ain't rolling with this word. I don't care how you get up there and sound good. You can sound great as you want to. Great orator, whatever. If you ain't rolling with this word... You say every word of the most high is pure. What'd you say? Hey, welcome, brother. You know? So, read on. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is what we're dealing with. These are high level demons that we're, that we're fighting against. And you might not even realize it. Because your day is so to the point where the life be, oh, it's the same thing going on over and over and over again. You see the same thing happening. You kind of get accustomed to the things that is happening in your life. But you got to make a change. You got to change. They going to do what they going to do. Everybody around you going to do what they going to do because they in darkness. They in darkness. He told Esau, get Isaiah 40, 47 and 5. I mean, yeah. You understand? He told Esau this. And it's the time that they're ruling. Everybody knows who Esau is, right? Huh? Edomites? Yeah, okay. So this is what he told them. Isaiah 47 and 5. What did he tell them? Isaiah chapter 47, verse 5. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. See? He told them to shut up. He says, Sh Sh quiet, Sh quiet, shut up, and get thee in the darkness, O daughters of the Chaldeans. See? They the daughter of Babylon. Same thing, daughter of Chaldeans. It could be daughter of Cushites. <laughs> you know, daughter of the Ethiopians. I mean, because they were dealing with so much witchcraft, sorcery. In this chapter, that's what it talks about. Enchantments and so forth. That's what they're dealing with now. You see? So, that's why he told them to get their daughters. And we just read about uh, who we who we who we fighting against, the rulers of dark of, of the darkness of this world. This is who we fighting against, the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And that's what they have done. They have bowed down, because Satan said, hey, he showed Shai, all the kings of the world, say all could be down and dying if they do what? If you do what? Bow down and worship me. And that's what they have done. How come they don't challenge them on that? 
I can't challenge you on that. Because that's what he said. He used the law against him. Anybody don't believe that Amashiach Yavashai believed in the law, that's what he used against Shatan. That's what we can use against him. Every time he said something to me, he went to the law. Every single time. And he had to leave. He had to leave. Whose law is it? It's the Most High's law. He the one that wrote the law with his finger. You see? And that's what he used against him. And that's what we can use. That's why we got to learn it, live it, and apply it in our life. But as you learn, know what's right. When they come, when Satan come against you, no. Even if somebody, hey, you got to eat this pork. What For what? <laughs> we ain't not supposed to touch a dead pig carcass. Okay. Well, I see how you are. Okay, let me get away from you. You. All you got to do is quote the word. That's why you got to memorize something. <laughs> you memorize, you got to memorize the word because that's what he came against him with. The word. But he used the law. But if you don't know the law, then how are you going to come against him? That's the ultimate demon. So what are we talking about here? Who are we talking about here? And what did he use? He used the law against him. But you're taught you're not under the law in the church, right? So how are you going to fight? Against the wiles of the devil, first and foremost, when you don't even know the law. You're taught you ain't got to follow the law, so what do you do? He got control of them. That's how you have control of them. Y'all got to see this. This is like, it's real deep, but it's not so deep that it's, I'm trying to make it as simple as possible because certain things works every single time. And the Shekhar Shah was an example to show us what works. Oh, he was, he was the son of the Most High. He said we're going to do the things he done, even greater things that he done. Because he gave us the examples. They're all through the word. They're all through the word. He ain't just come in the flesh. He was there as an angel in the beginning. From the very beginning. We always been Mashiachim. His. And he's the Most High. That's why when he come back, he got to show us a thousand years. to show us of his heavenly father. Our father. People think they know the Most High. You better step back. <laughs> most High is a consuming fire. You better be tapping into Hamashiach Yahushua so that you can have the opportunity to learn of him. Read. For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of the Kingdom. That's America. Read. I was wroth with my people. She was wroth with us. Read. I have polluted my inheritance. See, inheritance. He polluted us. We didn't hear this of the Most High, the 12 tribes of Israel. He said he polluted his inheritance. How he polluted us? By giving us to the Gentiles. That's how he polluted us. Pollutions of the Gentiles. Why? Because all the gods of the nations are what? Idols. And that's what we did. We, 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 we came amongst them, we mingled among them, and then we learned their works. And he said, learn not the works of the heathen. And we did this. That's why we're in the condition we're in now. And not coming back to who we are. And if you are coming back, you still got to work harder and harder to come back to your real customs. To be an Israelite, a Hebrew Israelite. And not just sometime that here and sometime that there. We are who we are. Just like everybody else got their culture. Right. You know, remember we seen the, the Japanese lady downtown with yeah. her Komodo on and stuff? Yeah. Strutting. Yeah. Yep, her little sandals on. I mean, strutting her, their culture. You know, come over here and be brainwashed. A lot of, you know what I mean, putting that three-piece suit on, but just, we supposed to be putting on our glorious garments and, 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 and putting, on, putting on our culture, how we look. They got this uh, show, uh, Zamba, Zamba TV or something, I don't know, it's something uh, like, uh, but it's African on Channel 13 out here. It's like still trying to promote we Africans. You got our people leaving here, going to Africa, and come back. Oh yeah, it's like this and like that. I've been to the motherland. Yeah, I went to the motherland. Yep, yeah, right. <laughs> still having us all twisted. I couldn't believe it. I'm like I'm switching the channel. I'm like what? I ain't never seen that like that. Not on, uh, you know, mainline TV like that. Maybe on cable or somewhere, not even on cable. Well, they, you know, like doing that little African thing. We're not African. 
still trying to keep us in the darkness. I was going to say, get in the darkness as part of how they put us in darkness, being ignorant, not knowing. Read on. Go back to, uh, read, read where you're at from the top. I was robbed with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. See? The devil know he got a short time to come down on wrath against those that keep the commandments. The remnant of the most high seed of the twelve tribes of Israel. They show us no mercy. Read. Right? Upon the ancient hast thou very, very heavily laid thy yoke. Mm -hmm. And thou said, I shall be laid forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst thee. Just remember the latter end of it. That's right. And that's what we at now. We're looking at the latter end of it. Remember? That's why we got we to gotta look at this for the ends of the earth. And that's what we at now. We're in the end times of the earth. And we're involved in it. We all have opportunity to show forth the righteousness of the Most High so that we can be able to have an opportunity to make it to the kingdom. Go back to Ephesians 6 and 13. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High. You got to take the whole armor. The whole armor of the Most High. Only way you have the armor is to do what? In the Most High. What we just read a bit in the beginning. We have to what? Hmm? Right. Well, you're the armor bearer. You're going to know. But that's right. We got to trust in him. We got to trust in him. Go ahead. That he may be able to withstand in the evil day. See, we got to be able to withstand in the evil day. You know, the things that's, that's opposing you as a young brother... It's, it's out of this world, man. You don't have to do nothing. You have to go through changes or whatever. You know what I mean? Just being who you are. Waking up in the morning and going out there doing whatever you're doing, having a good day. That's you know your whole life is. Mm -hmm. This is an evil day. That's why you have to have a relationship with the Most High. By Shama Mashiach, God was shot. Be and having done all. To stand. Have it done all to stand with the armor of the Most High, the protection of the Most High, B. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with the truth. That's right. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. What's the truth? The laws. When you read Psalms 119, 142. The truth is the law. The law is the truth. Read that. Psalms 119, 142. That's very important. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth. So that's our protection. He said, this is how we put on the whole armor of the most high. Since we, we wrestling not with flesh and blood, but these principalities in high places. So we got to have the truth. Got to have our loins girt about with truth. Read that. Psalm chapter 119 verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. See, the law is the truth. It's, it's righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and the law is the truth. So the righteousness is going to last forever. It's not just temporary. It's going to last forever. Go back to Ephesians. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Yeah, we got to have a breastplate of what? Righteousness. Of righteousness. Only, only way you're going to be righteous is to follow the law of the Most High. Follow the laws of the Most High. And have the faith in the Mashiach Galvashai going to the Most High on our behalf. Go ahead. And your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. That's right. With our feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace, man. The only way you're going to have this peace is who the peace going to come from. St. John 14, 17. 14, 27. It's good out there. Peace got to come from someone. 
And the Most High is allowed it to come in this matter. Read. St. John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you. Mashiach Abishai said, Peace I leave with you. Read. My peace I give unto you. So his peace he going to give to us. Only a certain mm -hmm. amount of people. And that's the remnant. Read. Not as the world giveth. See, not as the world giveth. It's a peace that the world can't give you. But see, everybody looking for, everybody to accept me. You got to accept me. I want this, I, I want to continue to have this peace that Amashiach Kalashai has given me. It's nothing like the world can give you. Read. Give I unto you. Come on. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. That's right. There you go. Go back to uh, Ephesians 6. I just have to, I, have, I mean, you know, in the spirit, I, I'm bringing this out because of what it is that came out initially. And it's, you know, we asked for the Holy Spirit and this is what's coming. But read verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So now, it's told, first it told us we've got to have the laws, right? Gird, gird up your loins about with the law, which is the truth. Mm -hmm. Now we come back and tell us, no, we got to have faith. We got to believe. We got to believe. Right? We got to what? What did it say initially? I mean, it said initially when we read it in Proverbs, we got to what? In the Most High. Hmm? Faith. No. We got to what? Trust. Trust. Right. You had it last time. Now you ain't got it. <laughs> That's why I called on you. Right, you got to trust them. If you trust them, then you have faith in them. Right? You have faith in them. That's why Master Yahweh said, get up, uh, St. John 14 and 1. He said this. St. John, chapter 14, verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. So let your heart be troubled. Read. Ye believe in the Most High, believe also in me. He said, you believe in the Most High, believe also in him. Get Romans 8, 38. Yeah, Romans 8, 38. Romans chapter 8, verse 38. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Hamashiach Yahushai. Our power. Our power. Kind. See? And that's what we got to stand on. You let nothing take you away from that. Go back to uh, Ephesians 6 and 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is in the word of the Most High. Now read and say, which is in it. Which, which is, is the word of the Most High. Read it again, verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is which is the word of the Most High. Right. And that's what we have to do. Get a. Uh, how do you feel about Get Isaiah fifty-two and thirteen. Isaiah fifty-two and thirteen. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled and be very high. This is Amashiach Yahushai. The Most High said, Amashiach Yahushai shall deal putatively with a lot of wisdom, the ultimate wisdom. He shall be exalted and extolled and be very high. Remember, the Most High gave him a name above every name when you read Philippians 2 and 9 down. But read. As many were studying at thee, his visage was so marred more than any man. His vision, his facial appearance was more marred than any man. More scars on his face than any man. Read. And his form more than the sons of men. His form he didn't have. He wasn't cut. He didn't look good. 
Read. So shall he sprinkle many nations. The king shall shut their mouths at them. You what do you tell what do you tell Esau? When he told him to get in the doctor, what did he say? Be silent. Be silent. What's that mean? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> That's right. Shut up. Be quiet. Right. So they're going to shut their mouths in here. Still in the spirit of what we're going over. Read. <laughs> for that which is had, for that which had not been told them shall they see, and that which they had not heard shall they consider. Right. And that's what they're dealing with right now. In many, many different forms, different many, in many ways. You know, because one thing that we as Israelites all believe in, that's the law of the Most High. We all believe in the law. And they hearing it. They hearing that law. They hearing brothers telling other brothers and sisters, you got to come back, you got to follow the law. You got to keep them laws. You know, we might disagree on a lot of different things, but we believe in keeping the laws of the Most High. You know? And that's something that we are together in. We, we united in that. Look at Micah 5 and 2. Micah, the fifth chapter, the second verse. So it's something that, uh, and this is about a Mashiach Kalbashah, it says, but thou, Micah 5 and 2. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephratah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Now who is that? Who's going forth have been from of old, from everlasting. That's who he's talking about. Look at uh, this is when he was created, Revelation 3 14. Whose goings forth have been from of old. From everlasting. Read that. Revelation chapter 3, verse 14. Kind. And unto the angel of the church of the Lacedaemonians write, These things said Hamashiach, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of the Most High. See? The beginning of the creation of the Most High. Hamashiach, Yahushua. Now, it says, Whose goings forth have been from of old. From everlasting. Colossians 1 and 14. We got to see this because if you don't see him, then how are you going to see you? <laughs> how are you going to really recognize you and you don't really just see him? And he's coming back to judge and make war. Hmm? That's like, that's why you're going to say, hey, all of them say, Lord, Lord, all of them say, and they're going to enter into the kingdom. And they're going to be saying, hey, we did this and did that because they're going through formalities. This is more than a formality. This is about learning how to operate with spiritual power. Read that. Colossians chapter 1, verse 14. And whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. Right, and that's a Mashiach Kalvashah, the children of Israel. Read. Who is the image of the invisible power? The firstborn of every creature. And we just read about when he was born. When the Most High, he was the first creation of the Most High. A Mashiach Kalvashah. Read. For by him were all things created. See, by him were all things created. Read. That are in heaven. That are in heaven. And that are in the that are in earth. That are in the earth. So you mean to tell me he's gonna come back here, he can't destroy uh, uh, eradicate everything that he created? You hear that? 
He created everything in heaven under the power of the Most High now and in earth, read. Visible and invisible. So he made things visible and invisible. So there are things that's invisible. That's here. Things that are visible, we can see them. And things that are invisible. So you know this, no, other, most people don't know this. So knowing this, you can't trip out on the things that's invisible because you're visible. <laughs> and you are the most high in the flesh. And he gives us opportunity to judge angels. Those that are visible, the things he said he's making right here. Visible, invisible. So we're going to judge angels. Read. Whether they be thrones. Whether they be thrones, they have power. Read. Or dominions. Or dominions. Go ahead. Or principalities. Principalities. Or Read. powers. Or powers. If these powers in high places, these demons in high places, wherever they are. Read. All things were created by him. All things were created by our power. Our power. Mashiach Yahweh Shai. To the power of the Most High. Read. And for him. And for him. Read. And he is before all things. He is before everything. This is our power. He before everything. But see, people put him on the back burner. They start opening up the Old Testament. Oh, he's not here. Just read about him when he's going to come in the, in the flesh. In Michael 5 and 2. We're reading about him. He was there from the beginning. We just read about him. Get Ephesians 3 and 9. This is him. He just appeared in the flesh first time he existed. You have those Israelites that believe that. And people that believe that. They had a wrong perceptive perspective of uh, Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Read that. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 9. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in the Most High. That's right. See? It's a mystery. Something that's not known, which has been hid at the most high, read. Who created all things by Hamashiach Yahweh He did what? Created all things by Hamashiach Yahweh There it is. He created all things by Hamashiach Yahweh That's what we use to create everything. Get Isaiah 42. So that makes sense. It, it should make sense to hear this. Read verse uh, 1 to 4. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 1. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, my elect, and whom my soul delight. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. See? He said, his servant, same servant was talking about, the Mashiach Yahweh my I uphold mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. You know why you got to bring judgment to these other nations? Get it? Get Psalms 147, 19 to 20. He got to bring judgment to them. And those Israelites, that's in a Gentile state of mind. That's one of support and follow the way of the heathen. But read this. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Psalm chapter 147 verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. So he showed his word unto Jacob. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. The twelve tribes of Israel. Read. He had not dealt so with any nation. So, he showed his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. What's a judgment? Because that's what we're looking at. The judgment is a punishment for doing something wrong. He gave us his moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, ceremonial, ceremonial laws, and sacrificial laws. And we broke them. So the judgment was captivity after captivity after captivity. Amongst all these nations. So now, the Bible's written in mostly all the languages. He said other nations have not known his judgments. 
But we have. That's what that was about. We read the Bible, most of the time we're in captivity under some nation. Because we didn't follow the ways the law said commandments of the most high. So these other nations, that's why it says Mashak Abashak gonna bring judgment to the Gentile. Because who's ruling? We're not ruling. We're not in rulership. He gotta bring the judgment to these nations that's in rulership and wickedness. Go back to uh Isaiah 42. Verse 2. So he shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. Read. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 2. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. Go ahead. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. That's right, man. He's not going to break any laws. So what he say, he ain't going to, the, the, the bruised reed is the Bible. So he ain't going to break it. He ain't break no law. Smoking flax shall he not quench. When it starts smoking, he ain't quenching nothing. He's going to let it burn forever and ever and ever. He shall bring forth judgment unto the laws of the most high. Unto the truth. That's the truth is the law. Go ahead. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth. And the isles shall wait for his law. There it is right there. If it ain't about the law, then what is it about? So even those in the islands come wait for his law. And he, he shall not fail, nor is he going to be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth. Isaiah 47 and 1. Because we went there, we went to Isaiah 47 and 5. We're going to prove who this is talking about. Isaiah 47 and 1. Isaiah chapter 47 verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust of virgin daughter of Babylon. So it said come down and sit at a low estate. That's me sit in the dust of virgin daughter of Babylon. Read. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground because you ain't nothing. <laughs> Flat line. <laughs> Read. There is no throne. There's no powers and authority for you, daughter of Babylon. Read. Oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. So it's the same thing as daughter of Babylon, daughter of the Chaldeans. Same people. Babylonians, Chaldeans, Cushites, all of them. Ethiopians, same thing. Read. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. They will never be called tender and delicate no more, he's saying. Now, who is this daughter of Babylon? Let's prove it. And how you prove who this Babylon, daughter of Babylon is? How do you prove who the daughter of Babylon is? Those on the conference call? Isaiah 47. No. No. That's what we just read, Isaiah. 47 and 1. How do you prove who the daughter of Babylon is? What scripture? Psalms 137, starting at 7. Okay, kind. Psalms 137, starting at verse 7. Let's prove who the daughter of Babylon is. Very good. And see, this is, way, this is how you get precepts. This is how you got to understand the Bible. Because it answers itself. So he's saying that. Now, what does that mean if you don't know what he's talking about? You can make up your own interpretation. But it's necessarily not going to be true. Because the Bible answers itself. Read that. Psalm chapter 137, verse 7. Remember, O Most High, the children of Edom and the day of Jerusalem. So we're looking for who's the daughter of Babylon. So first thing we see it is to say, remember, O Most High, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said what? Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. They said, raise it, raise it, burn it down, burn it down, even to the foundation thereof. You can write down 1 Ezra 4 and 45. They burned down our temple. That's what they did. Read. O daughter of Babylon. So this is what we're looking for. 
who was the daughter of Babylon. Oh, daughter of Babylon, talking about who? Children of Edom. Read. 